So now we have to find out the time complexity of an array. So how we can find out the time complexity? For example, the time complexity means we already discussed the time it takes to run any program or to execute an array. For this, how to find the time complexity? So first, for example, let us take an example here. Here I am taking an example. In how is equal to zero. Here, for example, I am taking a variable called count equal to zero. And then for i equal to zero, for i equal to zero, i is at n, i plus plus, and for j is equal to zero. I is equal to n. 
I less than zero. I plus plus. I by two. For J is equal to n. J less than zero. J plus plus. And now here I am saying that it is a common plus plus. Here. So complex. Now, if we want to find out the time complexity for this algorithm, so what we have to do is here when i is equal to a, it executes n times. It executes n times. When i is equal to n by two, it takes n by two. Then I is equal to n by four. It takes n by four times, and so on. It executes one time. So now, from this example, we can say that the time complexity is n plus n by two plus n by four plus, and so on plus n. And so our plus one is equal to n into two. From this we can say that the time complexity, the time complexity is equal to order of n. This is the time complexity for this example. Order of n. So this is the time complexity for this. Allah. Okay. Coming to the next one. The second parameter for analyzing the performance of an algorithm is the second one is the space complexity. The space complexity. The space complexity means that the memory it takes, the amount of memory it takes. Is called space complexity. The example for space complexity is z equal to. For example, let us take a variable k z equal to k plus b plus c and the return k. Return. So this is an example. Now from this, I want to find out the space complexity for this example. Here, how to find out the space complexity for this? Because as we already know that a, b, c, r, f are integer variables. Each variable occupies four bytes of memory space. So for a, b, c, and z, a, b, c, and z, total four variables. Each variable occupies four bytes. So four into four. Because four variables a, b, c, d, four variables. Each variable having size four. Four into four. That is six. And the return value is there. The return value. 